What's up, everybody? This is Kent Kit. And as far as who that nation goes, woo! Today marks another sad day in Saints history. Tuesday, January 25th, 2022, at approximately 12.47 p.m. Central Standard Time, NFL insider Ian Rappaport tweeted, Head coach Sean Payton has chosen to step away from the New Orleans Saints. Four days prior to this announcement, this shocking announcement, to say that I'm shocked is a complete understatement. But there were reports, uh, ESPN, I believe, um, uh, Fox Sports, Bleacher Report, uh, that Sean Payton was not committing to coaching for 2022. So he hasn't committed to the front office whether or not he was coming back. Now, initially, this set off a lot of alarms and a lot of panic uh, all across, you know, who that nation. Now, let me tell y'all how naive I was about this whole situation. Now, when I saw the Ian Rappaport post about Sean Payton stepping away, the key word, stepping away, and I was thinking, yeah, he had a tumultuous season coaching um, all of the stuff that he had to go through, you know, the, or even Hurricane Ida being displaced uh, for three weeks, um, having to play a home game in Jacksonville for week one, um, the COVID situation, second time that he, he had to endure um, Taysom Hill and Trevor Simeon with COVID, ACL injury to starting quarterback Jameis Winston, starting rookie quarterback Ian Book. So four different starting quarterbacks. I think that's the most, I mean, ever. I don't recall any other team, any other situation, any other season having to uh, endure all of that, especially with the starting quarterback situation, natural disaster uh, on top of that. And you have to deal with the inconsistencies and injuries of the offensive line. Injury plague uh, season for the offensive line. Eric Camargo was hurt the whole season without superstar wide receiver Michael Thomas. So that put all of that in, into perspective. You know, I was thinking, yeah, maybe the Sean, Payton, Sean Payton definitely needs a lot of time, a lot of time to regroup mentally, uh, emotionally, to recalibrate, recharge, and, and extended vacay go back to coaching, resume coaching duties. So I just thought you'd be ready for the for the season, you know, the upcoming season. I, ain't, I didn't really think anything of it, but, oh, boy, was I wrong. And I saw the Saints' um, Twitter account. They had they were going to have a live press, press conference, and and they were, were tweeting about him and, and thanking him. And, and I'm thinking, like, whoa, this is something much bigger much more serious than, you know, more urgent than stepping away. So, okay, I'm thinking, wow, a damsel, maybe he really is, like, not going to, you know, coach the Saints uh, anymore or for the foreseeable future. I know he was, you know, thanking um, owner Gail Benson, GM Mickey Loomis, team president Dennis Lausha. And I'm thinking, whoa, this is, yeah, he's really not going to coach the Saints. <laughs> the Saints anymore, and he he mentioned he t he spoke with uh, Drew Brees about his decision uh, a couple of nights ago. Drew Brees was very supportive, um, supported him one hundred percent on it, and he had a lot of good things to say. Sean Payton about the culture and. Uh, he, he's gonna really miss that, miss that the most, and the relationships, people that he, he uh, relationships that he's made. And I would say this: that I really hope that he informed you know the players and you know out of all of this before, you know he made the decision because if he didn't, that's really you know, really messed up. Like having you know playing for Sean Payton and then finding out via social media that you know your head coach basically going to be the retiring or semi-retire or whatever the hell the case may be. But when you finding that out on social media, that's not really, you know, a good look. After 16 seasons coaching the Saints, I'm trying to figure out why Sean Payton would want to resign now at this point.
of his tenure. Um, I know it's not one thing, but it has to be maybe a collection of things, a multitude of, of things that occurred during the last two years or maybe the last three years to persuade him to, to reach a decision to, to resign. Was it the quarterback situation that drove him away or was it the lack of talent at the quarterback position? Was it um, $77 million over the salary cap? Supposedly in salary cap hell that uh, people you know keep saying was it was it that I don't know was it the second bout of COVID was it the Michael Thomas situation to where he elected to have the surgery uh, on his ankle later on closer to preseason instead of having it at the end of last season I'm not sure I don't know also. I know um, he had some interest in TV. He was approached by a couple of, of TV networks to be a broadcaster. So I think he'd be great at that. Uh, maybe him and Drew Brees be in NBC over the next year or two. Who knows? You know, <laughs> analyzing games and calling games together. Who knows? The 2020 season was Drew Brees' final season as a member of the New Orleans Saints. In 2021, uh, presumably that would be the last season of Sean Payton's career coaching in New Orleans. On January 17, 2021, Drew Brees played his final game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the NFC playoffs in the divisional round. On January 9, 2022, Sean Payton coached his final game, presumably against the Atlanta Falcons. And, of course, on almost a year to Drew Brees' final game, and we get Sean Payton's announcement of him retiring or him resigning. From 2006 to 2021, Sean Payton was maybe a top three coach or top you know, five coach in the, in the league. I mean, he was a damn good coach, and it's going to be very, very difficult to replace him to, to, you know, to get that production. And not only was he a great offensive mind, he's a great motivator. He changed, literally changed the face of the Saints culture. Alongside with Drew Brees, they definitely changed uh, the Saints culture, built it from a losing culture to a winning one. And he had three NFC championship game appearances, seven NFC division titles, um, had a winning record, 10 of his uh, 15 seasons coaching Saints, Super Bowl 44 champion during the 2009 season, 2006 coach of the year. I also wanted to mention this about uh, Sean Payton. Now, Super Bowl 44, the Colts being in the Saints 10 to six and to start the third quarter, um, the Colts, it was their ball there waiting to receive the kickoff. And Sean Payton decided to go for an onside kick. Now, what coach, you know, in the right mind, you would think decide to, to, to do that in that situation. It was a huge gamble, a huge risk, and it was successful. The Saints recovered it, the onside kick, and executed beautifully. And Saints recovered, and Drew Brees hit, um... Receivers down the field led the drive and hit uh, Pierre Thomas for the touchdown, so put us up 13 and 10. So that was a huge gamble that you know paid off. You know th that was um, Sean Payton's way. That was his uh, mantra to be um, <laughs> really aggressive. Before I wrap up this video, I just want to acknowledge uh, and reiterate the greatness of Sean Payton. He's the greatest head coach in New Orleans Saints history. Uh, won us a Super Bowl and alongside a talented roster, Super Bowl MVP Drew Brees, uh, Sunday, February 7, 2010, Super Bowl 44, definitely a, a day that who that nation would never forget, uh, beating the Colts 31-17 to win our first and only Super Bowl. Also, 
tenacious attitude, keen eye for details, intelligent, brilliant mind, on and off the field, and never afraid to, to, to take dire risk and, and, and take chances. And yeah, just really, you know, on behalf of who that nation really appreciate that. And an end of an era, greatest quarterback in Saints history, Drew Brees retire 2021, this year 2022. Um, greatest head coach in New Orleans Saints history, Sean Payton. Uh, announced he was step away, resigned from being a head coach. Um, but definitely very, very hard to replace. So greatness to Sean Payton. And I want to end this video by saying thank you, thank you, thank you so much to my subscribers, whether you're an old subscriber or you're a new subscriber. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate the support. Also, everybody who's liking my videos and commenting on them. I really appreciate that as well. Thank you guys very much. And I will be making um, more Saints videos regarding what we should, what should we do at head coach, Sean Payne's replacement, uh, quarterback, salary cap situation. So be on the lookout for that. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. Until the start of the next video, be safe and be easy.